welcome back to my channel welcome back to a, a brand new video i am bringing you a zara haul today i have been shopping in the sales online ordered a load of things that have now arrived so i thought i would share with you some of the bits that i've got some of the absolute bargains and also some zara home bits as well before i jump in to sharing with you the amazing zara sale finds that i managed to get my hands on i do very kindly have a sponsor for today's video farfetch if you've heard me talk about farfetch before then you will not be new to the brand you will have heard of it i'm sure most of you have already heard of farfetch before anyway if you haven't heard of them farfetch connects customers from all over the globe to over 3,000 different brands from the smaller boutique up and coming emerging brands right the way up to those heritage labels that we all know and love already just to name a few chloe charlotte tilbury they now do loads of beauty items as well they do homeware i did actually pick up one homeware piece which i will share with you i particularly love the fact that farfetch can connect you with really hard to find pieces that you might not be able to find in stores or elsewhere and they have the most easy stress-free returns for you to um, use should you need to but anyway I am going to share with you a couple of items that I did pick up before I do I did just want to mention that they very kindly gave me a discount code for you guys which I will leave on the screen I'll leave it linked below I'll also leave a link direct to the website along with the items featured within this video the code will get you 10% off and it is just for new customers only okay let's get into it so the first thing that I picked up from Farfetch which actually I've had a while I got this myself quite a while back and I've been using it quite a lot especially in this warmer weather hence the hair back today is absolutely stifling if you all know me I just don't do well with heat <laughs> bring on the autumn season the cozy season because summer sun for me is just a bit too much in the UK but anyway I'm not going to complain because we only have a few days of it in the year but I'm going to say 20 degrees to 23 is my optimum any more than that I'm suffering but anyway this bag is perfect for summer as you can tell it is from Chloe and this is a um a small kind of raffia style bag crossbody that has gold hardware and as you know I like to wear gold jewelry so that is perfect for me and it's also got the tan leather which is something that I wanted to add into my wardrobe it is a nice length if I just stand back so you can see the length of it this dress by the way is from Oisho I featured it in, I think it was my last Zara haul because all show is owned by Zara. Um, but this is a godsend in this kind of heat. It's just so light and airy and floaty and comfortable. But yeah, to wear something like this, a nice summer's dress, crossbody like so is exactly how I've been wearing it. It's very minimal branding you might be able to see here on the front. Um, I will just say with this bag in particular, I have just popped a little kind of drawstring linen bag in here just because otherwise it's quite open and exposed and you know phone and stuff could fall out of there and this is just one of those sort of zara zara home freebie bags that you get with some of their home purchases that they put them in i think they i think it was there was some slippers oh no these are also in a zara home bag but anyway yeah if you order like their slippers or some homeware bits they quite often come in these bags or the shoe bags as well considering i mentioned homeware i'll show you this so i've had my eyes on this book for a while we all know i love a good coffee table book and especially coffee table books that are anything to do with interior so this one is called still lives inside the homes of artists great and unsung and it is by leslie williamson it's just one of these books that because it is interiors for artists and things i find it really inspiring and creative and yeah i've already had a flick through this and really enjoyed enjoyed just having a look through really i also love this if you know my little hack if you're not a fan of the cover if there's ever a paper cover just see what it's like underneath and how like minimal and aesthetic is this it's just got the still lives kind of embossed on the front there and also down the binder it's just a really pretty stone color that is my first first ever home purchase actually from farfetch i will be having a look at some more notice they've got some diptyque candles that i've got my eyes on next up oh if i can open it oh some beauty bits is this the first time that i've ordered beauty from farfetch no i think i've got some asop bits in the past from there but anyway i did pick up a couple of bits from their beauty section I mentioned charlotte tilbury 
I picked up two of the brow cheeks. I wasn't sure what shade I'd be. I picked up taupe and also natural brown. And I think from this sticker, taupe will be my um, my color, my shade. And then I just got, this is a little kind of pick me up treatment. And also these feel so refreshing. Pop them in the fridge on hot days like today. And pop them on, they feel lovely. And then I also got a stock up of some ASOP products. So I'm gonna pop one of these down in our gym um, not gym, bathroom, our bathroom in the basement, which we've had renovated recently. I think I'm actually going to pop down there the geranium leaf one, because that is one that I've had upstairs. This is the one, geranium leaf body cleanser. I've had this one in my shower up here, and I do love it, but I just want to try something new. So I've got the coriander seed body cleanser, which I think I'm going to love. It's black pepper, coriander seed, and patchouli. Whereas the other one is geranium leaf, mandarin rind, and bergamot rind. Both absolutely gorgeous. And then the last box I got from Farfetch to share with you, I've got a couple of Anine Bing bits. So this is the hoodie that I went for. It's just the good old classic light grey. I think they've got a dark charcoal grey version of this as well. I like the fact that all the edges are kind of a little bit distressed. I don't know if you can see that. But this is just that kind of varsity style hoodie that I just love wearing on a day-to-day -day basis with leggings, t-shirt underneath, even tie around my waist. I did size up just because I do find they advertise themselves, yeah, this is an extra large. They advertise themselves as oversized already. However, I actually don't think they are as oversized as they claim to be. I feel like if you want to have an oversized fit with an Inbing, size up. And then I did also pick up some trainers. I've never had an Inbing trainers before. I have tried these ones on already and they do feel lovely and comfortable actually. They come in three different colors. This is the lightest of the three. It's got um, sort of an Inbing detailing here on the tongue, the side, and it's just a gorgeous kind of trio of like a stone beige and white color. The other ones that they have are like a darker kind of neutral beige. And then they also have the khaki, which I was very tempted for. And I thought I would get these ones first. And if I really, really like them, I mean, I like all three colors to be honest with you, but I may invest in the khaki ones as well. I don't know if they have any other colors. I don't know if I've just seen three and that's why I'm saying they only do three, they might do more, but the three that I'd seen were those. Yeah, how nice are these? I did order a UK seven and I'm usually sort of a six to six and a half. And I would say they're roomy, but I think a six would have been too small. So if you are sort of in between sizes, if you're a half size, I would just like with most trainers, I would size up to a seven. So that is everything that I have recently purchased from Farfetch. Let me know which were some of your favorites. Don't forget to use that discount code to try out Farfetch today. Links below. Let's now move on to some Zara bits. So I'm going to start with the homeware bits first and then I'm going to try on all of the effort. The sun's getting to my head. Then I'm going to try on all the fashion bits to be able to kind of talk through the fit and everything with you. So yeah, let's get into this heavy box. So I'll let you know the prices that I paid for these things, but with Zara, obviously they have their tiered sales. So they more than likely have either sold out, unfortunately, or gone down in price even further. So yeah, just check the links for the up-to-date prices and codes down below and everything. But the first thing that I picked up, I paid 29.99 for, and it is this gorgeous like pet bed. It's a rollout one, so that's the colour it is on the back. It's kind of like an olive, olive, dark olive green. So you just roll it up and then you've got these ties here to be able to kind of tie it and carry it a bit like a picnic blanket style blanket for your dog. And it's got the most coziest inner for them to sleep on. Anyway, pick this one up for him. When I say him, new viewers here, Barney, my golden retriever. Whilst we're on the topic of Barney, I might as well show you the other pet bits that I got as well. I really rate Zara for their pet items, their pet collection. So I got these two as well, this little poo bag carrier thing that clips onto your lead. This was $7.99. And then this, I actually already have one of these and it's currently probably, there's probably like a third, maybe a quarter left downstairs. It's great. It's just a fabric spray. It's like a Febreze, but eliminates pet odors as well. And they also do a dog fur spray. Now, these were actually reduced in the sale, so I don't know if they're gonna bring them back. They do tend to do that. I find with these, they tend to be in and out of stock. So 
definitely check back if you're interested in getting this if it is out of stock but the fabric spray is usually 15.99 i think i paid 9.99 in the sale for this so hence why i stocked up another one even though i've got a little bit of one left it was in the sale couldn't resist again another repurchase this one is and i paid full price for these when i first bought them but i decided to stock up on a couple more because they'd been reduced down to 4.99 pack of two multi-purpose cloths they just look lovely they feel lovely they work there's no loads of lint everywhere with these and um they've got like a black rim but i think they've got ones with like a red um border as well if you prefer i did purchase a they had a monthly planner and a weekly planner i purchased the weekly planner that was in sale for 5.99 to go with these which i thought would make a good little gift set but the um, after I put in the order, they emailed to say they couldn't find the weekly planner, so they just refunded me that £5.99, so I was a bit like, oh, never mind. But these are also £5.99 anyway, it's just a little box of pencils, and inside they, you might be able to see, they do have Zara Home on them, so I thought they'd be quite nice stacked in a little pen pot on a desk. I also picked up this, and this is going to potentially go in my... Um, renovated bathroom down in the basement it's just a little soap dish and I actually want to get my hands on maybe a bath tray in the same kind of finish it's that kind of just plain wooden get into it first here we go uh, just like a plain acacia wood type bath mat and I thought this would look quite nice with it they did have some bath mats but they thought they were quite expensive so I'm going to have a quick look in Dunelm first but this was in the sale so I decided to pick up this one from Zara Home and yeah, really, really nice little soap dish just to sit on the side. And this was reduced down to $7.99. Who knows, with Aldi, they might even do a little dupe soon because we all know they're like, they're like the Zara Acacia wood dupes. I actually need to get my hands on some puzzles that I've seen quite a few of you are sending me photos because I'm without a car at the minute. I've not been able to get out and about as much as I'd like. So I've not been able to get to an Aldi to have a look at them. But yeah, if you're going to an Aldi, keep your eyes peeled for these gorgeous puzzles that they've got. They're kind of like bookshelf edition, fashion, all neutral, really nice looking puzzles. But anyway, um, moving on, I also picked up this. I do have some measuring cups, but they're just like white plastic ones. So when I saw these, I thought they'd kind of look nice out on display as well. And they're just a set of three different measuring cups with the little pourers as well at the end. And the actual ceramic of these are beautiful. They're kind of a distressed looking creamy beige color. How nice do they look? Love them. These were $15.99. And then last but not least from the home section, treated myself to a nice new big candle. This is the white jasmine one. They're candles. I can already smell it and I've not even got the box open. They're home fragrance scents are always really really good same as their perfumes actually they're always dupes of sort of designers they're really strong and just not cheap smelling at all yet the price point of them is so affordable but yeah they're home fragrance as well i really really rate so this is what this candle looks like it's a three wick nice and fresh and light for some of this one and this was 15.99 when you think of the like the white company ones are over 20 pounds for just one signature single wick candle you get you get your money's worth with these ones okay on to the fashion now i'm going to start with this pair of linen blend bermuda shorts these are belted i actually didn't see that it came with this belt so i don't know how i feel about this belt let's try them on and see what we think okay i've just paired with these shorts this top both of these are actually new in for some reason i thought these were in the sale because i picked them up in a large I was quite surprised when I opened them, I was like, these ones must have been a sale find. They're not, they're new in. And they do have sort of matching items as well, as does at this top. I thought they'd look quite nice paired together. Um, I just noticed my little bras sticking out, so you probably would have to go braless with this. Um, or like a really minimal little bit in the middle there. But anyway, this top is lovely. I see it everywhere. I see so many people wearing it. I just think it is such a nice shirt that is a bit dressier and then paired with linen shorts kind of dressed down a little bit but equally you could wear heels with it or i think just some nice little flat sandals feels nice nice and light and airy this top so the top is in a medium it's 25.99 and these shorts are 29.99 like i said i did pick up a large which to be honest with you i'm actually fine with i was a bit thinking why have i picked up a large medium surely would be better 
They are a little bit big, but you could just cinch them in with this belt. And I would rather gain the extra length potentially with a large than going a size down. So anyway, this is what they look like. I'm five foot six, or nearly five, like five five, and I typically wear a UK ten to twelve on the bottom, ten on top, or in Zara, I tend to opt for mediums. I've got a couple more pairs of shorts and I've got a skirt as well so I might as well try them on with this top. These I already know are going to be way too small. Online for some reason I thought these were well they just looked like a really lovely fit. Looking at them in person I don't know if I'm going to get them on and even if I do I feel like they're going to be way too short for my liking. It seems to be a bit of a trend in high street stores at the minute to go short shorts. These shorts are in a UK 12, 25.99, let me see if they're in the sale. Yes, just looked online, 9.99 these ones were. I'm actually embarrassed to show you these ones. <laughs> oh, is that as far as I could go? Oh, my things are just so short, way too short for me and for my liking. So I'm getting these off straight away. They are actually quite big around the waist and obviously I would never size down in these because they're already short shorts. It's just a no from me. I'll try on these, which actually might pair quite nicely with this top for like an all linen look. These shorts are higher, rise, in a medium, $25.99. And they just class them as Bermuda shorts. I think they had these in different colours as well. Much better, much more comfortable in these. So these are mediums. They fit lovely. They've got nice pockets. Definitely need to pop a little bit of fake tan on or catch a bit of a natural tan. I think because I've been sort of like doing my dog walks, I've got a bit of colour on my face, chest and arms. And then I realised my midriff is very pale. So excuse that. But as I said, I think this is lovely. I think it's really nice and lightweight and floaty, comfortable, nice kind of summer holidays outfit for during the day with flats and a nice little basket bag. Like my Chloe one here, I'll probably put even the... Chloe Woody sandals that I've got from Farfetch as well with this outfit. Okay, next up I've just got this satin skirt on to show you. It is, it's nice. I wouldn't say it's the perfect fit or even shape for me. Just move the camera down so you can actually see what it looks like. But it was only $7.99 in the sale. It's just got a load of like ruching detail to it. And it's just a little bit, a little bit baggy around the waist. And I don't like to wear things any lower than above my belly button so I wouldn't pull it down but um I suppose there's room for a food baby <laughs> but it's also very short and again I just I just just don't wear short things all too often anymore to be honest with you unless if it's floaty um and what size did I get I got these in a medium 25.99 they were full price so 7.99 they like their pair of shorts the skirt was full price and they did have a matching satin top I think they styled it with to make it look more like a dress that I think is quite nice to be able to have what you think is a dress but also be able to mix and match. Oh, I've got this dress, let's try on this. I had my eyes on this when it was full price. I was arming and arming, I was undecided, $45.99 it was full price. I got it in a small, oh, so it might not fit. It was the only size they had left and it was reduced down to $22.99 so I thought I'd give it a go. Okay, I do have to say, it's quite a nice dress. It's not done up at the back, so it's definitely too small for me, a small. Um, but it's, because it is nice and thick, I feel like this would be a really nice kind of night out dress for in winter. You know, if you're going out, out, and you want a little kind of cocktail dress. I like the shoulder pad details. I like the fact that it's a nice kind of cream ivory color rather than a stark white. I think it makes it look a bit more expensive. But anyway, I can't breathe in it. Let's get it off. Let's get something else on instead. Back in my comfy, my comfy attire. So the rest of the stuff that I've got are like kind of jackets, coats and out season stuff. Obviously sale, there's gonna be out season stuff at really good bargain price points. But anyway, I did pick up this sweatshirt. How nice is that print? Just says luxury retreat, wellness spa and resort in New York. Just like the um, font of it and everything. So $25.99, this one was full price. I got it in an extra large and it was reduced down to just $9.99. How cozy does this knit look? It was, it's in a medium. It was $49.99 full price, this one, but I paid just $19.99 for it in the sale. I thought this would be nice for when it does start to get into those autumn days. 
taking you all shopping with me to home sense to have a look at all the pumpkins even though they're already in which is madness um but yeah those cozy autumnal days just nice and thick and chunky which i love and 19.99 is a good price point for that it's quite long as well actually so i feel like if you wanted to just throw it on with leggings and you prefer your bum being covered then medium for me does do that okay this next item i think i have already purchased in the past and sent it back however seeing it styled up on their website with a matching pair of trousers i thought wow what a lovely outfit they didn't have the trousers in my size so i've like emailed me when it's back in stock notification however since it's arrived i realized i've actually bought this in the past and sent it back so i don't know if it's for me but it is a lovely kind of olive linen shirt i think as a set it looks lovely but this on its own i just don't know how or when i would style it so 79.99 it was full price in a medium but this is in sale for 29.99 so pretty good bargain it's called the karma blazer maybe open and done with a nice white summer dress underneath just as an added layer this however i love obviously not for this time of the year but in a small definitely don't need to wear a size up with this one 79.99 this one was a full price and in the sale it's 29.99 and it's just a big i can't believe i'm putting it on in this heat it's just a big puffer jacket the massive hood and this for me, I do think it's shower proof, so I feel like it's a sunny autumn, winter, walk day, dog walk day, going for lunch afterwards. Not when it's fully tipping it down, you know, because then I feel like it would probably get a bit wet. But yeah, ooh, with a bit of colour, like you say, I've got a bit of colour on my chest for me anyway. I feel like this olive is such a lovely colour. Anything with a massive hood like this is just giving me all cosy vibes. And then the last item that I picked up is, again, another out of season stock sale find i got this in a medium and they call it the rustic straight coat limited edition 29.99 it was in the sale i think full price it was 109 pounds so i thought with such a good discount i would try it out to have as again an autumn coat i, think I do like this you know i feel like this is actually maybe going to be a keeper when you first see it Kind of gives me grander vibes but i think with like a nice light colored cream white outfit underneath and um or even black as well like black leggings black basic and just a nice rustic coat like this i would guess the rustic comes from the texture of the thread it's really nice not itchy at all nice and comfortable obviously got a lot of like skin on show and it's not itching or anything However, it's a bit too warm, so I'm going to take it off. But yeah, that is everything that I got. Do let me know which were some of your faves. I'm going to do some more try-ons and styling over on my TikTok if you want to see them. It's just Freya Farrington or my Instagram, Freya Farrington one or the homeware bits I tend to share on my homeware account. Thank you so much to Farfetch for very kindly working with me on today's video. Don't forget to check out all the links of the items featured within today's video in my description box along with that discount code. So make sure to take advantage whilst it lasts. Happy shopping. I know you're going to love it just as much as I do if you haven't already had a little browse of their website. Thank you to you guys for watching. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day, whether it's enjoying the sunshine, whether it's wishing for rain and instead curling up in a ball in a cold room inside with a fan on your face. Whatever it is that you're doing, have a good one and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys!